good day to everyone let me introduce myself my name is dilip i am the native of cochin the port city of kerala i started my career in the shipping industry during early 90s and now i am in the industry more than 30 years i started my career in cochin cochin seaport and got chances to work various ports in india like tutikorin kanla and pipao in this industry i am involved in the shipping activities such as vessel handling related work container line services nvocc and kind of custom clearance of export and import cargo the vessel handling work involves providing services to the vessel vessel or ship coming to the port for the loading or unloading operation of uh, operator cargo like arrange safe berthing to the ship in the port for a cargo operation complete the formalities with its different government bodies like customs department immigration health health authorities dock safety etc etc container liner service means to receive the cargo loaded in a container receive the port and deliver the cargo to the consignee arrived in a container in this context i want i want to uh, explain earlier all the cargoes are used to come to in in a bulk form in a container in a, in a cargo and uh, discharged and stored in a port area on the uh, on the container station the cargoes are loaded in the container and discharge the container as it is in the port the port and the consignee can take the cargo to the their warehouse directly in the container I return the container to the port to, to the port area basically the container is a part of a ship it is it is all be treated as a it's a it's a part of a ship the empty container have to be returned and loaded back to the destination arrived in in, the, in the arrived or advised by the advised by the uh, container owner or to load the uh, cargo in with another cargo to the container or empty to be replaced as per the advice of the container owner any cargo coming to any cargo coming from a foreign country has to go through the customs examination and get clearance from the customs department before the use to in the, in the same country similarly any cargo going out of a country have to get clearance from the customs department for crossing the borders importers and exporters takes the services of customs blockers in order to get this process without any hassles around 80% of the global trade by volume are carried out by sea and the same is carried, uh, handled by different ports in worldwide exporters or importers are using marine transport for transporting their cargo to cross country due to easy transportation and volume of cargo in cheaper mode also marine transport is a cheap mode of transport compared to with other means of transport like sea by by road or by air more and more cargoes are coming in the world in order to handle the increased volume of trade by sea I shall share my experience in these area activities in my coming section. Thank you.